In this video I'm going to show you some examples of uh, screen setups that I've saved into the profiles. What you can see here at the moment is the default screen. You can see up here in the profiling tool it says WS, it's short for widescreen uh, default, and this is a standard Bet Angel screen. To create a custom profile, um, all you need to go to do is go to a specific tab, undock, or click on charts and move them around and pin them to different areas of the screen. But once you've done that, you can go to the view menu and do save screen out, save screen layout as. So here we've got a default screen, uh, pretty boring. Um, but I've also created a widescreen chart fest. So if I click on that, what you'll see is um, all of a sudden we get a load of charts appear on the screen. So what I've done is clicked on various Betfair charts, the advanced charting, pinned that and resized it across here and then I've gone and saved that as a layout. You can also see I've got micro charts here which I've pulled across from a modified version of the manual bet screen because of course in the one click in manual bet screen you can modify those to your heart's content so you don't have to use them as a screen to trade from. You can take the information and reformat it in there and you can see that's what I've done here. So this is the chart fest screen and this is ideal for um, trading on horse racing. Now if I switched to a football match um, this screen is not going to be of great use, um, especially seeing as on under and over two and a half goals there are only um, two charts. So what I've done is I've also created a widescreen soccer um, layout. And what you can see here is this has pulled Guardian over to the middle uh, because it's likely there will be loads of matches going off at once so you can monitor all of those in one go in Guardian. Soccer Mystic is looking at that specific market and giving us a profile so we can keep an eye on what we want to do and we've got the over under scenario indicator down here as well and a couple of Betfair charts as well as the screen that we want to trade from up here. Um, so you can see that uh, with a click of a button we can change the display according to what we want to do and to be, make it more specific to the market in which we're trading. Now if I go to a tennis match uh, then obviously um, a soccer so having Soccer Mystic up on a tennis match is going to be of absolutely no use at all. Um, so I've actually got a uh, widescreen tennis trader set up as well. So you can see there, um, that's automatically brought up a couple of charts, trading profit calculator, tennis trader, and were set to the ladder as well. And flicking backwards and forwards between those is pretty easily, uh, really. All we need to do is... Um, either change profile and then change market or change market and then profile. It's up to you what you want to do. But the idea is that it's very easy and flexible to skip between each of these individual um, scenarios. Uh, very easy to do um, and obviously hugely beneficial when you're trading because you'll have different setups for different stages of the event, pre-off and in play um, and different scenario, different events like tennis, football, horse racing, you'll probably want to look at different things, but the advantage of using the profiles is you can quickly and easily switch between all of these items and have all the information that you want uh, right in front of you. So that's a quick overview of the profiling feature.